Welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. In today's 30 days of sewing hashtags installment, uh, I'm going to be doing a hash, that's not hashtag, a hashtag, uh, um, fab, uh, nope, um, pattern haul. <laughs> Speak, Michelle. Um, so uh, I don't know if you saw it or not, but Style Arc had an Easter sale. And it was, and they were offering 20% off. Um, I managed to get in on the very last day, which is today, April 7th. And I, I've always liked style art patterns. Um, they have like just the, the styling of them is just very me. Um, I did a couple of their patterns last year when I first started sewing again. And I, two specifically that I can think of. One of them um, was really easy to follow. It was straightforward and um, I liked what I made. The second one, I did I did end up liking what I made, kind of. Uh, the fabric was wrong, so I never wore it, but I thought it came out cute. But the directions in style work were not super clear for a beginner. So I struggled with that one quite a bit and I made it work, um, meaning that I don't think it necessarily came together the way it was supposed to. I have heard through the grapevine, meaning, you know, other sewing vloggers, that um, their directions may have gotten better. I'm hopeful, but I also know I've been sewing a little bit more, so hopefully the directions, even if they haven't become any more robust, will be easier for me to follow now that I just kind of know a little bit more than about what I'm doing. I don't know, we shall see because I bought quite a few patterns as I'm gonna get into now. Um, so, uh, if you're not aware, Style Arc is an Australian based brand and they offer a bonus pattern, a different one every month. Um, and they're not like, you know, typical free patterns that are fairly straightforward. It's one of their regular patterns that they're offering for free with the purchase of either fabric or an eligible pattern. And so once this month is over, those bonus patterns go back into like available for purchase. Actually, they're available for purchase. If that's the only one you want, then you would pay for it. Um, but then they go back into the regular um, rotation, the regular assortment. So this month's bonus patterns, you can choose between the Miley woven top or the Fifi woven pant. I chose the Miley woven top. And so basically what this is, it's a feminine loose fitting top with a uh, high-low hem flounce and a drawstring sleeve. So what I'm really interested in, that reason that pattern caught my eye is because it'll allow me to practice flounces, which up until this point, I've not been so great at. I'm not good with the gathering. <laughs> I don't know why it's, um, it challenges me. And then the new skill would be the drawstring sleeves. So I'm interested in, in how that all comes together. So pushing me a little bit further in my sewing skills. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try that. And it is a, a woven top. I don't know what fabric I would use for it yet. Uh, the first pattern that I chose that I paid for is the Selena top. And it is a really cute, it's an A-line, easy fit top. It's got um, frills at both the sleeve and the hem. It's a high-low. And um, I think that, I don't know, uh, I think it would be cute if I did the frills in a different fabric than I did the bodice. Um, I know I get carried away with that because I love pattern mixing and fabric mixing, um, but I think that would be cute. I don't know, we'll see. The fabrics that, um, that oh, and it also has a little bit of gathering at the bottom of the yoke in the back. Uh, the fabrics that they recommend are rayon, crepe, silk, and washed linen. The second style that I bought is a dress. I actually bought a couple of dresses, which that whole Frugal Frocks 2021 challenge really opened my eyes to some dress patterns that, especially now that I'm living in South Florida, I feel like dresses, um, especially loose, like easy dresses, are something that I need to incorporate into my wardrobe because it's not something that I've historically 
been a fan of. But I think down here, I think just like throwing on an easy dress, like on the weekends and stuff, is, is going to be something that I might start gravitating toward. We shall see. Anyway, the Emerson dress is a low-waisted button-up dress with a mandarin collar. Um, it's got sleeves and it's got a gathered skirt. There are two different length versions and I think I would do the short tiered version for this. And short for me is still going to be below the knee. It's just not going to go down to my ankles. And this one they recommend rayon, crepe, or silk. All right. Sorry, I've got my notes. Uh, all right. So then the next item that I picked, this is my only knit item. Well, kind of. Um, and it's the Reese knit top. It's a tunic style with a round neck and it's got an angled design. So you'll see in the, um, in the picture that it's got, um, it's got an angle going this way and raglan sleeves. And it's a great opportunity for color blocking or pattern mixing, um, which I'm really excited about. And for this one, you would use either a knit jersey or really any t-shirt fabric. Um, oh, and, the, and it has inseam pockets. How fun is that? All right, the next one is the Hope Woven Dress. And this one is an easy fit, easy fit dress with three quarter sleeves. In the description, they say seven eighths sleeves. So I guess that's the same terminology. I, I look at it and I say three quarter sleeves. Um, there are two length options. Um, it's got full raglan sleeves. Um, they're kind of almost like balloon style. Um, and it is a high, a high waist dress, high waisted. The, um, and this one I think is another great opportunity for color blocking. I think this would be so fun. Like I immediately thought of, I've got a red, um, and a tangent, no, got hot pink and red linen that I'm really eager to pair together in a garment. And my first thought was, oh my gosh, this would be great if I did one color, the bodice one color, and the sleeves and the skirt another color. And then I went back to my um, Beckett overalls and how that cutting that right in the middle of my body was not very flattering for me. So as much as that concept sounds super adorable to me, I think the most color blocking I would do would be uh, sleeves different than the entire bodice instead of bodice different than the skirt, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, but I'm still liking that pink and red combo for that. Um, and if I didn't say it already, oh, this one, this is the one that um, can be done in either wovens or knits. So this could be a really versatile pattern. It can be done in washed linen, rayon, crepe, cotton, or knit. And then the last pattern that I got was the Nova midi dress. So it's another tiered dress, but this one is sleeveless. It also comes with two lengths and you can make it in, they recommend silk, crepe, rayon, or washed linen. So those are my patterns. Um, I'm thinking that the Nova midi dress could be um, a sundress that I would use for the it's one of my hashtags. Which one is it? Uh, summer. Sew together for summer, maybe? Mm, not sure about that. I have to look that, that one up and I'll, I'll put the right hashtag at the bottom. But there is a, a hashtag going around for a challenge um, for sundresses in April. And I definitely want a sundress, um, especially like I said, being here in South Florida. So I'm thinking that one might be a good option for me. Um, out of these patterns, I'd love to know, have you made any of them? Are you thinking about making any of them? If you've made them and you have an, um, a video or an Instagram post, then let me know because I'd love to go check it out. Um, I love to see what other people are doing with patterns. Um, it, you know, gives me ideas and sparks some creativity. So, um, yeah, let me know what you're doing. If you um, have not already subscribed, I would love it if you would. Um, I this is just me chronicling my journey of sewing, my return to sewing after like a 25 year break, and um, so it's 
you know, a little bit hodgepodgey, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow for, um, whatever hashtag that might be. We will see. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you.